What's going on? Huh? Huh? Come on. Let's play here. See if Grishuk is going to play or not. I'm pretty sure he makes it in with a draw, too. But let's just see. So it's his decision here. I'm going to put the ball in his court from the get-go. And if he plays, he plays, and that's life. It's his decision. We'll see what he does. I mean, let's take a look at the standings. Let's take a look. Okay, a bunch of draws already, obviously. Konovets and Hans draw their game. Yeah, like I said, six makes it in. It's a question of... Um, Benjamin is playing somebody. I mean, yeah, okay, he plays. Okay, let's play. Okay, let's go knight f3. Keep it simple. Away we go. All right, let's play the Alapin. Hmm. The e5. I mean, bishop c4 and bishop b3. I'm going to try to play this very flat, by the way. I plays e6. Okay, so... D4 is obviously move. Castle is also move. I'm just going to castle. No need to be crazy here. And play D4 next move. See what he does. It's a very strange order, actually. I mean, D4 is obviously one of the moves, too. Um, let's take and play like D4, I guess. Let's go to D4. All right, so d4, we have a standard position here. Takes, takes. Um, standard the IQP. The lay of the land, by the way, is as follows. I've calculated it. So right now we have four players who have punched their tickets with six and a half. At most, mm -hmm. we will have six players. At most, we have six players with six and a half, which means that at the very least, two players with six out of eight are going to go through. If Hikaru doesn't win, if Hikaru and Grishuk draw, and if Benjamin Bach, who's the only other five and a half, does not win, then we're going to have a huge log jam with six out of eight, with about half of those players qualifying based on tie breaks. Okay. There you so go. Haru is not that impressive in the opening, honestly. This looks pretty, pretty pleasant for Black, doesn't it? Right. Yes, it does. Yes. And ooh. Knight c6, is there even the fist? Queen h4. How about okay. that? Forcing this very weakening move, and then you take on c6. Right. Oh, my lands. Rishuk sitting pretty out of the opening. Should have just taken and played knight c3, just played normal chess. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking too much about how a draw is good enough here. But I'm trying very hard to flatten the board. I'm just flattening the board completely here. The big problem for Grishuk here is that he has to win this game. I mean, he just decided he's got to win the game. for a long time here it goes queen c7 so first of all i have knight f3 as a move um knight b5 takes king h1 queen b8 g3 okay so he's trying to play for something very sharp that much is clear let me think about this so if i knight b5 and then i play g3 he takes 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 i can also just go g3 here also play h3 i guess but h3 looks a little bit dank let's see knight f3 i guess he wants knight e5 is that his idea probably
E3 Clinch for Five King H one, Bishop G four Queen G one. I mean, I know this is fine. It's a little bit scary playing this this whole sacrificial line. Queen D eight G three take. I know it's fine, but it's ugh, how to do it is the question. I play queen h5 there, bishop h2. Don't like what I've done in this game. I'm actually very unhappy with this. I guess I'll go here and just take. I'm gonna use a lot of time in this game too, because if I don't, if I don't use time um, in this game, I mean, I could. All I need is a draw, so I, I really should just try to stay very, very slow and calm here. I think knight b5 was the right move, though, objectively. But I had rook e4 at the end, probably. He's got bishop c5. I mean, I'm already maybe a little bit worse here, which is not good. Expected that. I assume I should play queen h4. Queen h4, bishop e7, queen e4, maybe. Knight f6, bishop f4. Queen h4 somehow feels a little bit too loose, though. Queen b3 seems like the right move. Hmm. No, I think Queen E4 might have been better too. What are you doing. Still probably okay, but I, I don't like what I'm doing in this game at all. I worked the eight I expected. Queen E2's gotta be the right move. If I can get the bishop on e4, I should be fine. But I'm not happy with my play in this game. It plays b6. Now, the question is, do I flick bishop g5 in or not? That's also a big question. My gut says no, that I should just play bishop e4. I think I should just play this. Yeah, this and bishop e4 and just, like, try to even... But I just gave knight f6. Like, what the heck? Although, wait, no, then I have bishop g5. Okay, and that's okay, I guess. Okay, plays bishop b7. Now I think after bishop e4, I've stabilized, finally. And now I can go knight d2, knight f3, and I should never really be in danger. I also had bishop g5, maybe, but I, I don't want to allow any weird... any tricks on the diag, so... not the point, not the time. Bishop e4 and Hikaru with his one piece trying to ward away Grishuk's entire army here. And doing a pretty good job of it. White is solid. Sasha, time. Absolutely. Time, Sasha. Four and a half minutes, no increment. And he's 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 stuck. He's stuck. He needs a move. Like, like he, it's, it's a frustrating moment because if you give White two moves, he consolidates. So you feel as though the time is now if you're going to make use of something. But it's really tough. Well, Sasha's just said, OK, I don't believe I have something quick. And now Hikaru is probably in time. To get his knight around to F3. Yeah, little else is more tilting than these moments. Maybe when your autocorrect corrects Hikaru to Hillary, but that's uh, 
Okay, a5 I really like, because I grab space on the queen side, maybe bishop a6 at some point. And perhaps the idea of doubling rooks on the only open file would be sensible as well. Now, black is better still, yeah. no question about it. Absolutely. How is Sicaro going to keep untangling? Is he going to go knight f3? Is he going to do something more creative? This is coming down to the wire. Knight b3. Sicaro goes the other way. Rishuk instantly responds with a5, but I think this trade is probably in White's favor, no? I would I would think so. Uh it, it looks as though Okay, Sasha's trying to play against this bishop. It's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. so. uh, yeah, and a3 is is on in the air, so you've got to be a little bit careful here as white. Like, do you play a3 here? Do you play a3? Yeah, the question is, is it worth yeah, is it worth fixing your own pawns? Yeah. Now, what's not Precisely. worth doing, I, I'm also wondering if c4 is worth playing, just to orchestrate more trades, and he plays it. Now, bad news for Hans, which is that Benjamin Bach is about to win his game, and he's going to have six and a half as well. So that thins the margins, and the number of people who qualify with six shrinks further. But for the moment, before this round, it's Sam Sevian and then Hans in terms of best tie breaks. We'll see if that stands. Okay. Who do you like in this position? Who would you take? Well, I think Sasha's still better, but I'm very worried about his clock in the long run. Mm -hmm. if, the, if this game drags on, I'm, I'm very worried about his time. I, I have a feeling this will end it. I have a feeling there will be a draw for four. Okay, I don't like a3. It's either bishop e5 or something else. This is right. I don't really care about this a2 pawn, honestly, here. With rook d4, I trade and go c5. That I go here now. Again, knight d4 I take and I have c5, so I should be fine here. Pawn is weak on c5 now, so if he doesn't go knight d4, he's probably in, in trouble. Because now I also have ideas like queen g. Well, maybe not queen g4, but okay. Let's see. What's he gonna do? Yeah, I mean, all I do, all I need is a draw here. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe not. No, no, actually, I've got a much better tie break than everybody, so yeah. Yeah, I've got a much better tie break, so. Who's playing? I'm playing. Oh, our game is the only game, so actually, yeah, if I draw, I definitely qualify. So Hans is hoping that I win this game, I think, because I think if I win, Hans gets in. But none of that matters. All that matters is that I play a good game here. It goes e5. Interesting choice. I mean, he wants knight d4. If I play queen f3, knight d4. Ah, I've got rook d4. Or cd4, bishop b7, rook b8, bishop d5. Not trivial. Okay. I go bishop d5. That's no good. Rook d8. Trade, trade. e5 is a very good move, I think. And I don't really want to take. I don't want to trade. I go b4. That's no good. Rook d5. Shoot, that's a very good move by Grishchuk. Maybe I have to go like Queen H5. Queen H5, Knight D4. 
API underscore Remix just subscribe. So Hikaru with now a big decision of his own. Two minutes for both sides. This has been a very slow game. It's only move 23, and we're already playing a blitz game. I, I just can't believe how extraordinarily slow it's been. It's been quite shocking, really. I mean, we're going to be in a time scramble by move 30, an actual yeah. time scramble. And Hikaru now down to two minutes. And you can see we're watching his cam. He's focused intently here. As his clock continues to fade and the prospect of knight d4 is frightening and he activates his queen and brings it to h5 and now it's Sasha's turn to think. Okay, so the point of queen h5 I suppose is aimed against knight d4, yeah? <laughs> Which Grisha but you can do anyway. it anyway, right? I thought Hikaru's because... idea was to take on d4 and then take one of these pawns. Ah, that's probably his idea. I feel like liquidation is on the horizon here. It just seems that yeah. pawns are being Queen captured in large numbers. Yes. Rook AD. Now, is, so are we, are we, we don't know if Sasha with 6 out of 9 qualifies, right? We don't know if Hikaru with 6 out of 9 qualifies because tie breaks we right. work in the darndest ways, as they say. Right. Um. Hikaru's tiebreak should be good because he had a great start. He's faced all of the strong guys because he's Hikaru. Oh my god, Rook B1 apparently was a big mistake. Really? And the reason is what? Rook A B A. Oh, oh my move. god, that's actually findable, by the way. This is phenomenal. Rook takes B2. You think, what is this? This blunders the queen. No, A takes B2 and oh, the my double goodness. threat. And he missed it. And he missed it. And he missed it. But still, this looks very dangerous for White. Yes. But Grishuk's clock is going to kill him here. We need to trade Rook B2. Okay, wait. Ay, ay, ay. Did I just blunder this? Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, I thought. Queen F1 and Queen G2, maybe? Crud, I've misplayed this. I guess I go... Shoot, I've completely misplayed this. I got I gotta do something. Time is too close now. Trades, wow, I did not expect that. Eight. Yeah, I've got rook d1. And now, I mean, this should be a draw because I run my king back. Here. Got no rook moves. I've got c6, c7. Okay, but this is just a draw, right? Yeah, just king e2. <sighs> very, 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 very close to, um, yeah. Very, very close to losing, but I, I keep my nerve. Yeah. And now I can just wait. Oh, wait, H3. <gasps> H3? Wait, H3, G4, G4. Uh, okay, uh, he goes for the draw. H3, G4 is a draw. Hikaru locks it in straight away. Wild game. It's a draw. I mean, I, I, I'm i pretty sure I qualify, but pff, wild game. That's a wild game. Crazy. Let's look at the standings. Okay, what are the standings? I'm number six on tiebreak right now. I think I should get in, but I'm not sure. Should get in. Hopefully I do. That was a wild game. Okay, do I finish in number six? Let's see. Let's refresh the page. Let's see. Thanks for watching Ula Saibzu for the Prime. Scary Baldi with the Prime. GTI Remix for the 20. Load with Frick for the 4. Halibu with the 14. Thanks so much. Chess Pawn as well for the um, 5 months. Appreciate it. 
All right, it's taking longer than usual to load. Um, I was lost. I thought I was in trouble somewhere. Let, let me see. Let me refresh this. It's not reloading. Come on. Go, refresh. Come on, let's go. What's going on? Huh? Huh? Come on, connect. Show me the final standings. Huh? Grishuk had a win when I played Rook B1. Uh, it's not. Come on, chess.com. Let's go. Come on, stop doing this to me. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Finally, it refreshes. Good lord. Okay, so you guys are saying that I was lost. Okay, so I finished six, so I play number three. So I play Benjamin tomorrow. I play Benjamin. Um. I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play Benjamin so so yeah so it's gonna be a fun match tomorrow let's take a look though you guys said I was losing at one point you said I was losing King F8 King F8 on which move yeah I mean this position I'm not shocked that I was losing yeah he, he probably trading was a big mistake I go here and now it's a dr oh rook a threes wait King F8 is actually winning? Wow. Okay. Hmm. Crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I wasn't very... I mean, why didn't I... Oh, I'm such an idiot because I can go Rook D3 and if Rook C1, I, I've got Rook D2, of course. Oh, that's actually very stupid. Oh, I'm... Oh, that's very poor. That's very poor. Very poor by me. But, all right. We got this position and then, yeah, we, we, we get to a... um. We get to this end game as a draw. Yeah, not not very good. Not very good. Six ads in the span of 20 seconds. What do you mean? Six ads in the span of 20 seconds. Um, this is like, yeah, this is just not very, uh, very good by me. I mean, the whole thing was stupid. Like basically when I played knight d4, I forgot that he could just castle and get this imbalanced structure. And like, this isn't what I want. I should have just taken the pawn, played knight c3, just play normal chess. And it's all very, very good. Um, yeah, I mean, g3 is probably bad. Go for this. Go here. I think right around here I was okay, right? Yeah, right around here I'm worse, but it's not that bad. I do this. This. And C4 apparently. Yeah, I should have played Bishop D2 and then C4 to stop this whole maneuver. Although, to be fair, I mean, it's still the same kind of jam with Knight C6, D4, F5, D4. So it's not so easy. Rook A B it after Rook B1. Okay, what well, Rook A B it after Rook B1. Which which position are you guys talking about? Oh my god. Oh my god. Rook B. Oh my god. Rook B8. What a. Oh wow. Oh wow. What a move. Holy moly. That's holy moly guacamole, as I said. That's insane. Wow. Rook B8. Wow. Wow. That's, that's insane. Uh, that's what it is. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's what it is.